Hi, class. How are you? I hope you are doing very well. We are also doing our best to let you understand biology. We are almost done with a level of organization of life. We say life is life, and that the basic structural and functional unit of life is the cell. Something is a living thing. The basic unit, the smallest unit of that thing we refer to as life, in that thing is the cell. And that in some organism, it's only one cell that forms the organism that is causing the trouble. In some, the organism is made up of more than one. So we have been looking at, so we look at the structure of the cell, we look at the organelles, and that we have specialized cells in some organisms that are made up of more than one cell. So we look at specialized cells. They we said a group of specialized cells form a tissue. And that several tissues form an organ that perform one or more functions. And that several organs will collectively perform a particular function for the body or the living thing. Now I want to summarize the level of organization of life. We have five levels. They are a cell or specialized cell. Then we have tissue. Then we have organ. Organ system and organism. So we have a cell, tissue, organ, organ system, organism. So this is an increasing level of uh, complexity. The increasing complexity. So the arrow here means complexity. If you have to write this in exam room, the direction of arrows will score a point. And how we arrange them correctly, also another point. So the arrow means complexity, increasing in complexity, increasing complexity. I'll explain to you what complexity means in the next video. I'll explain to you what complexity means in the next lesson. If somebody is complex in your class. Complex. It's not simple. Not easy to understand him. He's a complex guy. You know. So increasing complexity. Five levels of organization. Now, some organisms are found only at cell. Some organisms are made up of only one cell. They are said to be at cellular level. Some organisms don't have organ, but they have more than one cell. But the whole organism is made up of a tissue. So they are said to have a life at a tissue level. Some organisms also are in the form of an organ. This one is out. Why some are made up of systems. They are organisms. Organisms. So let's look at an example of living things at the various levels of organization of life. Various levels of organization of life. Cellular level. We have organisms that are of cellular level only. The individual organism is made up of only one cell. That can perform all life activities. What are the points here? Only one cell. And so what? What do you want us to do? That cell can perform all life activities. So it's a cellular level. If the cell cannot perform all life activities, then that cell is not a living thing on its own. It's just a cell. There are some organisms that are at cellular level. The level of organization is cellular level. That's the maximum they have. They are amoeba. 
paramecium, they are aquatic organism, fresh water. Then we have chlamydomonas. It's an alga. Then we have euglena. Then we have spirogera. You remember that when we're looking at forms in which cells exist, we mention single and free living, where all these fall under that. And this one was mentioned under filamentous. Fine. But it's another aspect of biology, about level of organization. And that this cell of sparogera can be obtained from a filament. That is why we said as a filament. But for now we are saying that, so far as level of organization is concerned, this does not form a tissue. Because the cells can live independently. If you move one cell, we can see one, two, three, four here. That will magnify under the microscope. If we take cell, first cell alone, it can live on its own. It can live on its own. So, even though it's filamentous, its level of organization is cellular level. I hope you are there. Let's move on to tissue level. In this case, the individual is made up of a tissue. Individual is made up of a tissue. There are a group of animals that are tissue level. One of them is Hydra. Another one is Obelia. Obelia. Hydra is a typical examination, it's a typical examination specimen where it's normally mounted under the microscope. Uh, you see it like this. The examiner can ask you to identify the specimen. And will ask you a lot of questions. And one of the likely questions you are likely to be asked is to state the level of organization. It's tissue level. To ask you to give a reason. Don't get confused. Because the whole living thing, the individual, is made up of a tissue. That's all. Then let's move on to organ. Example of organ is the onion ball. Another one is a rhizome of ginger. Let's move on to organism. Organism. This way the individual is made up of systems. Systems. Example of um, organisms that are living things at this level. In fact, all plants. So you can mention mango, banana. They're all animals. Human being, goat, rabbit, guinea pig, agama lizard. Don't forget the examiner can ask you to give a difference between amoeba and hydra. Hydra and agama lizard. Hydra and the lizard. Hydra and a rabbit to compare in examination room to state the differences. Don't forget to quote the level of organization as one of your points. I hope you've understood the lesson. Name the five levels of organization in life. Cell, tissue, organ, system, organism. Give example of each of the levels. For a cell, leaf epidermal cell, red blood cell. For a tissue, leaf epidermis or mammalian blood. For an organ, the leaf of a plant or the heart of a mama. For a system, in plants, the shoot system. What does it do? Photosynthesis, reproduction, excretion, 
transpiration. What about system in animal? The digestive system. What does it do? Digestion of food. Absorption of food. What about organism? Tylenum triangulari. You know it. Tylenum triangulari. Example. Then example, human being, rabbit, guinea pig. So these are all examples. Now, the other type of question. Name the level of organization of life. An example of organism. That lives in this example of organism to each level of organization. You understand that? The first one was just the level. But now an organism whose maximum level is to a particular level. So cellular. I hope you understand. Amoeba. Tissue. Hydra. Organ. Onion bulb. Rhizome of ginger. They jump over. System. They move to organism. Guinea pig, rabbit, cockroach, all insects are example. Before we leave, let me remind you that this is what we call complexity. Complexity. Because as you move from cell to organism, we are moving to increasing complexity. Hydra is more complex than amoeba. Agama lizard is more complex than Hydra. I hope it is clear. Complexity. Now, a multicellular organism, such as human being, has different types of cells. Unicellular organism, such as amoeba, has only one type of cell. So the goat is made up of different types of cells. You can pick a cell anyway. Amoeba, the, this is the whole organism. Which one do you think is more complex? Complex. This one is more complex. Because this cell alone can reproduce. This cell alone can undergo nutrition. It can undergo irritability. It can undergo excretion. So it's more complex. How it's able to do that is complex. Because it has all the mechanisms. But if you pick a cell, red blood cell from a goat, that cell cannot reproduce. I hope you are okay. It's very important. Individual cell of a unicellular organism is more complex than an individual cell from a multicellular organism. However, a multicellular organism is more complex than a unicellular organism. This goat is more complex than amoeba. I hope you can see horns, ears, eyes, nose, tail, mouth. You can even see teeth and tongue, fur, tail is here, legs. We cannot finish mentioning them here. We can't even see some of the things inside. So you realize that the goat itself is a complex structure because of the various items, the various structures on it. So it's more complex. And it's more complex because of specialization in the cells too. Do you understand that? It's more complex. It's more complex. It's a complex structure. You can see this one is simple. It's having millions of cells. But this one is having only one cell. So which one is more complex? This is more complex than this. But if you take an individual cell from a goat, only one cell from a goat, we are saying that comparing that cell with this cell, because this is an, an organism, it's also a cell. I told you I refer to unicellular living thing as organism. I hope it is clear. So the cell of amoeba is complex than a cell, individual cell from a goat. In other words, 
An individual cell of unicellular organism is more complex than an individual underlying cell of multicellular organism. What is the reason? Because a cell of the unicellular organism can perform all life activities. But for a cell of multicellular organism, it specialized to perform specific functions only. What about the whole body of a multicellular organism? It's more complex than the cellular organism because it has a lot of cells that are specialized to do various things. Thank you for watching. Learn my biology. Join me in the next lesson so that we look at the problem of complexity in living things and how this problem can be solved. Bye-bye.